Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Great Divide, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 1, where Paul the Apostle writes, God has put all things under the authority of Christ, and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. I love All Saints Day. Some might imagine it a little morose to dwell on memories of the saints who have passed, but I can't help it. I need to be reminded that the great divide from earthly life into the heavenly realm is as transitory as it gets. Of course, we know that heaven is forever, but that's just the point for a Christian. The divide is only an illusion, like the picture of a river's divide. It's still the same river, it's fed by one source, and both branches flow to the same end, a reunion. And it's still the same river, even if one cannot see the other. The confluence coming together again is that great judgment time when Christ shall gather all into the fold. This is the promise of God, and we are his inheritance, bound for the kingdom. And so, for today, all saints are remembered as one, that huge cloud of witnesses Paul described, surrounding us, encouraging us to that great getting up day when Christ shall come again. There's one sadness in this fact of our eternal inheritance. Some are disinheriting themselves. In Holy Scripture, we're told of a great book, the Book of Life. Many people believe that it's only the names of those people who receive Christ's gift of salvation. And that is true in one sense. But there is a verse in Revelation that makes me uncomfortable with that view as being exclusive. That's Revelation chapter 3, verse 5. All who are victorious will be clothed in white. I will never erase their names from the book of life, but I will announce before my Father and his angels that they are mine. This verse suggests to me that every human soul's name was written in the book before time began, and it's only in failing to kneel at the cross in surrender to the grace offered there which causes Christ to blot out the name from the record. Now that may sound like slicing hairs a little thin in the theology class, but it's consistent with a God who universally loves everyone, perfectly. So perfectly he sent his only son Jesus to die and be raised from the grave to offer freely the grace that saves a soul. It tells us grace is offered, but must be accepted if our names are to remain in the Lamb's Book of Life. The confluence of life's river, where once again the body will be together, is an offer of grace, God's good, loving arms extended wide towards each soul. For those you have quote-unquote lost are not so. They are waiting for that time when Christ gathers the river back together. For you today, The cross is the great divide of history and eternity. Paul reminds us to examine our lives to see if we're truly in the faith. When the divide between the living and dead is removed in the final judgment day, it will no longer be an illusion that separates those whose names remain in the book and those blotted out. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.